You will likely not believe it from the way he fights, acts and speaks, writes personal trainer Tomonari Oba, but Hakuho doesn't view himself as strong. I'm weak, he often insists, usually after one of his rare defeats. That's why I must train so hard. That's why I must strive so hard. It is this ability to frankly discuss his faults, says Oba, that forms the mainstay of his Yokozuna strength. It would be quite easy, goes the theory, for a man with his all-conquering record to dismiss a loss as a fluke on the part of the opponent. That, Orba maintains, is a common mistake among most of us. It's true that I've seen him curse after a loss, refuse dinner, and lock himself up in his room, Orba reveals. He'll turn off all the lights and watch the video of his defeat over and over from under a duvet. But rather than lament, Orba describes, he is bravely confronting mistakes and constantly looking to learn. Over time, he has found it helpful to unburden himself to me, Orba continues. And I've told him straight, by saying that you're weak, what you really mean is that you know the difficulty of winning better than anyone else. Which means you can outwork anyone else. Especially jarring for Orba was Hakuho's demeanor prior to breaking Taiho's long-standing record of 32 Emperor's Cups. It seemed the modern-day great harbored major doubts about his suitability to eclipse a historical godlike figure. I don't want to fight, he started to say. It feels horrible merely to collide. In fact, I feel sleepy these days. And on the eve of the record-breaking bout, seemingly half in earnest, Hakuho said, I don't fancy my chances tomorrow, you know. Coach, if I offer to retire, will you accept? At first, Orba recalls, I was bemused by this apparent unmanliness, the polar opposite of the aesthetic image of the quiet, contemplative samurai. But I have since come to find it quite amazing how he can say exactly what he feels. What Orba neglects to discuss is whether this is indeed easier for a man unbound by a Japanese education and formal rules of sentence construction and word choice. What Orba did do was fulfill his role as de facto sports psychologist, telling Hakuho to accept his destiny as the man to outdo Taiho. Orba's most fascinating insight, I feel, comes with the direct line he traces from the champion processing a surprise defeat to the nervous, gangly 15-year-old who came to Japan with no Japanese skill in 2001. He's told you the stories of how he cried after training non-stop, Orba writes, and that part of him has never left. There are still times today when the weak teenage boy within him appears and refuses to leave. The key example he gives is on the 13th day of May 2016, when Hakuho faced Yokozuna hopeful and overwhelming crowd favorite Kisena Sato in an all unbeaten affair which would surely decide the title. I guess every Japanese will be supporting him today, said Hakuho in the build up, appearing to Oba like a bundle of nerves. As you likely know, Hakuho, despite a far from vintage performance, was sufficiently psyched to break Japanese hearts, using the same left-sided principles as he did against Tedonor Fuji to throw a turbocharged Kisena Sato to the ground. But the crowd's deflated reaction hurt him, causing him to mumble on the car ride home. Those Japanese would have loved it if I'd pulled out. They'd all have applauded, wouldn't they? And he continued, If Asashoryu and I had never arrived, both Kaiyo and Kisena Sato would have made Yokozuna. Appalled by this view of himself as destroyer of dreams, Oba plucked up the courage to disagree. Yokozuna, he half shrieked, don't say that. I guarantee lots of Japanese were supporting you today. When it comes down to it, everyone wants to see a super strong Yokozuna. Orba notes that Hakuho's sheer love of Japan makes criticism from its citizens all the harder to take. But the Yokozuna has since come to accept that in this day and age, no matter what he does, someone will feel obliged to knock him. 
When self-doubt strikes, Hakuho often turns to the image and spirit of his late father to pull him through. Hakuho almost snuggled up to him like a little boy on the night before his first title win in 2006, and has always kept a picture of him on his desk. In March 2020, ahead of his title decider with Kakuryu in the spooky, empty stadium, Oba witnessed Hakuho placing that picture in his kit bag for the first time. He doesn't draw the connection, but one wonders if Hakuho felt triply impelled to win that 44th title because his father was 44 years old when he was born. And as you likely already know, the delivery of his father's silver medal from Mexico 68 inspired Hakuho to beat the odds yet again just last week.